infection, which we often call nosocomial infections, are a big concern for healthcare workers, for patients, and for the health system itself. These are infections that are acquired in the course of hospitalization. It's a big body in the sense that the patient presents for care for care of their condition, but acquiring infections during the course of the admission further debilitates them. Now, also acquired infection are a big concern. About one in every ten patients uh, in the world globally acquire hospital infection. In 2023, Nigeria lost $4.5 billion to healthcare associated infections. That's about 7.2 trillion naira, with today's current exchange rate of 1,620 naira to a dollar. These are infections that patients acquire while receiving treatment for medical or surgical conditions within a healthcare setting. Some common types of these infections include surgical site infections catheter associated urinary tract infections, bloodstream infections, and ventilator-associated pneumonia. Premium Times is on the streets of Abuja to ask people about their concerns about this infection. Where, where we are right now, we could be doing so much more than having to treat our failures, so to say. If a need is not well sanitized, depending first, how was it made? How was it made? Now, from the process, did it come in contact to something that had any in, in, uh, disease in them? I think we can do better because you, you probably go to a lot of hospitals now and a lot of precautions are not being taken, you know. For example, if you are going to an immunization center, it is important to throw away things like syringes once you use them properly disposal, things like that. So I uh, visited a couple of um, primary health care centers, even secondary centers and, you know, um, tertiary institutions across the country, you know, and I think it's more prevalent in primary PHCs where you find that um, they are very poor conditions, you know, the, the, the building itself is terrible, it's not, it's not, it's not looking good, the they are basically barely facilities, even but the ones that are available look old and worn out and, you know, should not even be used anymore. It's always, um, Cases of say poor hygiene there, you know, it's in poor condition. There are no, they are very limited, um, and very limited personnel to attend to them. And personnel that are even available do not have, they're not qualified, you know. Um, the risk of acquiring hospital infection basically lies in good infection prevention control system. Now, when there's a breakdown of IPC, that's infection prevention control, then there is a risk of transmitting infection from one patient to the other, from a health caregiver to the patient, or even from patient to a uh, caregiver. So, and these are things that, these are transmission that needs to be broken. The World Organization has the five moments of hand washing, which should be maintained by all caregivers. Doing this will help to reduce transmission of infection and help improve the outcome of patients who are hospitalized. Due to the poor infrastructures or medical equipment in medical centers across the country, there is a tendency that these might become more troubling. To prevent this, Nigeria needs speedy intervention in the poor provision of medical facilities which include protective equipment. Healthcare seekers are highly prone to these infections in hospitals and primary healthcare centers due to low levels of prevention and control.